Uh, today on the show, we're, we're eating a tomato sandwich. You guys, hello, happy Monday. Welcome back to Sean's first time eating. Today, we got a big one. <laughs> Try me. Here on the Hey Sean Neely YouTube channel, you make a donation, you get a video. You want me to eat something via that donation, I make a video eating that do- well, I don't eat the don- I- you- <coughs> mm. And today's piece of content on the internet is made possible by Miss Amanda Schultz. If you are still taking requests for food YouTube videos on my taxes this past year for occupation, I wrote food YouTube videos. That's a that's a something I did. I highly recommend a family favorite of tomato sandwiches. Oh God! <laughs> I'm sorry. What? Toast, mayo, sliced fresh tomatoes, and a pinch of salt. Enjoy. Mmm. <sighs> Why, why though? <laughs> Never in my life have I had just a straight up tomato sandwich. Love a BLT, love a BBLT. One time I had a blast sandwich. Bacon, lettuce, avocado, shrimp. Why'd they do that? But from everything I'm hearing, this is a Southern classic, a staple in the Southern United States. In Michigan, where I'm from, we never did that. <laughs> As a kid, I hated tomatoes and my dad would put them on grilled cheese sandwiches and I didn't understand why he would ruin the greatest thing with the worst thing. Are you trying to get me to learn life? Is that what life's kind of like? Cause sometimes you're gonna have something great and then someone's gonna throw a slice of mater on there. Grow the f up. Amanda, in all seriousness, I'm very excited. This is also very crazy because somebody else also donated for a tomato sandwich, but had it done with Wonder Bread, a specific kind of mayonnaise. And the step-by-step -step instructions, I think they almost ran out of characters on the donation. <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea. Man, you want some too? You better wrap it up. That'll be part two. Amanda, yours is part one, your video one, of this tomato sandwich journey. Let's get started. Now my entire life, I was always very good at following instructions. Like if you told me what to do in a step-by-step -step basis, I was gonna follow those rules to a T. I was a rule follower. Some of you jacks might have called me nerd. I just like doing things the way they were supposed to be done. Why am I bringing that up? Well, because you, this is kind of like an improv here. I don't know how you did it at your house, but I'm gonna follow it. Whenever anybody donates and writes something, I'm gonna follow it exactly how you wrote it. If I do it wrong, it's cause you wrote it wrong. <laughs> I'm not blaming anybody. This is supposed to be fun. Okay, I'm gonna slice these about an eighth of an inch thick. That's what I normally do for tomatoes on sandwiches. Cool, capiche? It's important to get it very ripe though. Like I waited a couple days after I bought this. You want it a little squishy. You want there to be some body to it, but you also want it to have some like, some gooiness. I, it's a gross way to describe it, but that's the best I can do. I didn't go to culinary school. I barely know how to film a YouTube video. <laughs> you know when people say fake it till you make it? That's literally my entire career. And my tax guy said I need to stop using the word career seriously. <laughs> I get really into my cutting. I, get, I don't, I'm not classically trained. <laughs> I do think I'm doing a good job though. These are like how I like them thick, thick. Did you guys ever think you'd spend your Monday evenings watching a ginger cut tomatoes? <laughs> Maybe you made a wrong turn somewhere. I'll be completely honest with you though. These like more unique, easier to make episodes, I kind of prefer. This is what makes YouTube so beautiful. Ooh, I'm proud of that one. Look at that, I got one more. Okay, I think that's a good thickness right there. They hold their own, but still kind of translucent-ish. I actually cut those way better than I thought I was going to. Damn, I really did. I really wish I would have gotten some milk or something. I feel like you're supposed to drink a big white, white, why do you say white? A big white glass of milk with this sandwich. I would imagine very soft white bread is kind of the standard here, so I got my favorite white bread. They don't pay me, so I'm not gonna tell you what the what the brand is. Also, don't buy this toy, to toyster, it's a sunbeam. <laughs> There we go. Do you guys have a favorite bread brand? <laughs> Do you guys have a favorite bread brand? I would like to know it. A lot of times I will buy Brownberry. Not married to it, just think they make a decent product. You? Jesus. I've never met anyone new before. Also like when I make sandwiches, I will be making two sandwiches because one sandwich is never enough sandwiches. Normalize cutting boards as plates. 
I'm not done yet. Don't you dare. Toasters never know. Do you notice that? All right, a little bit browner. Okay, we'll do that. We'll put our second bread in. A lot of the recipes I saw online for this, yeah, I research things I don't need to research. They, they say to let the bread cool. Amanda, do you let the bread cool? Who's got the patience? There we go. Here will be another controversy of people going hard in the paint, AKA the comments. Are you Hellman's? Are you Miracle Whip? Are you Duke's? Are you Store Brand? Are you Psychotic? Which mayonnaise do you use? I know Miracle Whip's kind of like a hybrid of things. But I had some Hellman's in the refrigerator, so we're gonna use that. For the other video, it was very specific that I'm gonna make in the future about Dukes. Some people like really get triggered by the squeeze bottle. I think I am one of those people. This is really, really gross. <laughs> it's all the same product, but for some reason. It's like, I don't like drinking Corona, the beer, out of a can. Like, I don't know, I'm sure it tastes the exact same as out of the bottle. There's something about it, I just don't like it out of a can. It's a good sound. Huh? Huh? You grossed out? Did you unsubscribe? Did you leave yet? I'm gonna put a pretty good amount. There's something so ironic about the fact that my brother is like training for a bodybuilding competition and I'm squirting mayonnaise on this bread. Oh my God. And then, boom, bring it forward. So now, bring it forward. Boom. Yeah, that's my brother. Got the same forehead, but very different physiques and very different 401Ks. I feel like it looks like less on camera than it is in person. I know it sounds weird, but it's like the opposite of how the camera adds 10 pounds. <laughs> when you're showing may mayonnaise for some reason, it looks like it's 10 pounds less. I need to get some friends. I gotta get some fucking friends. There's something so sad about rinsing off a mayonnaise knife. Okay, Amanda, we're going tomatoes. I wonder how many she does. That's the thing about not writing it. Like, I could be really upsetting you. I'm gonna do three slices on each sandwich. And then I've got freshly ground <laughs> kosher salt. Gonna really salt the crap out of this. Salting both sides. Okay, now we're gonna add our bacon. One day. Strike this. Striking. Place this here for the brand deal. <laughs> Kidding. Be a funny email to get. Hey Sean, I'm Rick from Hellman's. We really like what you're doing over there on the YouTubes. Okay, and now you, <laughs> I'm assuming do this. Three tomatoes, mayonnaise, and salt on bread. Put this one here. Shut up. Do you hear that? Her refrigerator has indigestion. Okay guys, this is a family favorite of Amanda Schultz. I'm hoping I did it somewhat of justice. Um, I'm no, no, I don't, do you cut it? <laughs> I find it weird if you don't cut it. I can't believe how much came up when I searched tomato sandwich, like truly. There's recipes, there's endless Pinterest recipes. If I search it on Google Images, I think, nah, more cut. Okay, we're gonna cut it. Zhuzh it up. I love how well-rounded this show is. The fact that there's gonna be this episode and then another episode like this on my channel, I'm like actually obsessed with that. With that. He's obsessed with that. Was that vocal fry? He's obsessed with that. That. <laughs> God, cutting these, I'm obsessed with that. Uh. I think if you cross section like any sandwich, it looks good. Now, if you don't like tomatoes, I'd suggest not making this, but I love tomatoes. The crunch of the bread, the cool creaminess of the mayo, and then when you have a good tomato, like an heirloom or a beefsteak, I have a beefsteak tomato, there's no real way this is gonna be bad if you like the ingredients, you know what I mean? This is just a personal preference thing. Some of you are literally puking into your shirt pockets. <laughs> uh. oh. 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 Uno, do it. All right, friends, here we go. The toasted 
tomato sandwich. The next one that I do, like I said, will be untoasted with a very specific bread and a very specific mayo. The key there, you want it to stick to the roof of your mouth is what I see. But Amanda, this one's for you. Cheers. It's kind of like eating a salad, like if it was croutons, tomato. No, that's a terrible analogy. No, it's not. <laughs> I was gonna say a salad without the lettuce, but what? It's almost like eating a sandwich. The salt really brings out like the flavors of everything. It's, I don't wanna say it's good, but it's very, very not bad at all. <laughs> It's so refreshing. Do I want lettuce and bacon? Yes. But it's a sandwich you can make in three minutes. It's got the texture thing down, the coolness, tomato's good for you. It's a struggle meal, but it's like a happy family hug struggle meal. To me, it's more depressing eating like a cold ham and cheese sandwich that you make as you're standing without any pants on, as you're running late to work, over your sink. What? To me, there's like, this is, there's more layers to this. Some of you guys might say I'm just being nice or I like everything. I probably do like everything. But truly, like, if you like tomatoes and mayonnaise, there's nothing wrong with this. There's, of course, better. But to make this sandwich, it's 30 cents. Amanda, I get it. It's amazing how much tomato can be the show. Like, normally tomato is such an accent to other things. To have it as kind of the main thing in this sandwich, it's holding the weight pretty good. One thing toasting the bread does do, uh, one thing that toasting the bread does do is, you know, I'm a little tired. It kind of makes the mayo a little runnier because it's like, it's been heated a little bit up against the bread. At first I thought that was kind of sus, but now I kind of, I kind of dig it. Like, I don't know. So I gotta know. Have you guys had this? And if not, would you have this? Is this absolutely disgusting to you? Is this actually something you'd try? Did you grow up eating tomato sandwiches? I'm so enamored by food cultures like this. Like, this was not a thing we did in the Detroit area. But this might be a staple of your town. Like, this might be a thing all of your friends ate growing up. Nobody my age wanted to even be in the same room as a tomato. I wanna add like mustard to it. <laughs> Here's what we'll do. I have so little left of this. This is that spicy scotch bonnet mustard I really like. It's a hot sauce. There's so little of this left. Need gravity to do its work. Sarah Bareilles, hit it. I don't wanna fall another moment into your gravity. Her music always works. Always works. Oh man. Woo! I don't wanna fall that made it, oh my god. God, I love a hot sauce mustard. Here, take a screen grab of this if you want it. Scott Bonnich mustard. Scott, Scotch Bonnich? Scotch Bonnet. Mm-hmm, I'm totally fine with this. Guys, if you want to pick what sandwich I make on this show, the Venmo, the Cash App, the PayPal, every donation leads to a new video like this one for Amanda. Get in on the fun. Maybe you got a sandwich, a recipe. Maybe you want me to go out and get a weird sandwich. Whatever you got, hit me with it. We'll make it for the show. You guys have been absolutely awesome to start 2022. I had no idea I was gonna start doing a daily show on my own, but we're here. We're approaching 70 videos in 2022. Subscribe if you wanna be along for the ride. Amanda, because of you and only because of you, did I have a tomato sandwich today for dinner. Wow. Mm. You say tomato, I say to my move and the video. Let's do that again. When I say tomato...